Ando. Hello, welcome to another tutorial lesson. My name is David Ando and uh, you are on to Slow Academy. Today is gonna be a quick one. It's easier when we're talking about capturing a single voice at each recording, but it's a uh, more complex thing when you're talking about multi-track recording. Today we want to look at how to uh, set up your door for a multi-track recording. I'm having a multi-track project right in front of me. The first thing you must know is when you're doing a multi-track recording, you must have an interface that supports multiple input. And the number of input available on your interface, we actually determines the number of input you can capture at once. You might be working with an interface of 24 input, 32 input, 16 input. If you are working with 16 input means you cannot take more than 16 input at once. So how do you configure your door to uh, set up a multi-track recording? You must have configured your interface, plug in all the input, the channel from the mics, the guitar, strings, instruments, the pack save instrument after routing all the instruments and the microphones on your interface you have to pass them on to your door go to studio and studio setup then you must be uh, selecting your interface the name of your interface will come up on the Azure driver here then you can select your interface in my case I'm using Azure for all because I want to use multiple devices on my system. If you are having more than one interface and you want to use all this interface at once, if you select one of the interface here, then you will have access to only the inputs and outputs available on that interface. But if I select Azure for all, then I will have access to all the input on all the devices all the interface connected to my system after you must have selected the name of your interface then you go back to studio and select audio connection now we are in audio connection i will want to remove all these buses i have here remove okay you can remove whatever our uh, bosses you already have under input simply click on add boss so for now i want to demonstrate recording four input at once so i will have to uh, select four counts here i'm adding four mono input then i'm adding boss now adding these bosses now we have four bosses added mono in mono in two mono in three and mono in four and uh, the name of your audio interface will be written here so that you know the interface where these uh, ports are coming from and uh, my interface now is having four input then i want to route each of the input accordingly to all these buses that i've created so the first one i'm going for line in one two one then the next one line in one two two the third channel of my audio interface is the line three four one and the last one is the line three four two so this is the first channel of my audio interface the next channel the third channel and the fourth channel so this is the first channel of my audio interface, the second channel, the third channel, and the fourth channel accordingly, all routed to my bosses that I've created. So I can also rename this. The first one, I want this door to be identified by channel one or maybe by the name of the instrument if you wish. So for example, I've connected my uh, lead mic on the channel one you can rename them by double clicking uh lead mic okay then the next channel another lead mic two okay 
then the third one probably i've connected a guitar then the next one uh, i might have connected a piano so i've connected a piano for the fourth channel so i have the lead mark on the first channel the lead mic two on the second channel the guitar on the third channel and the piano on the fourth channel so i can also save this as a preset so that next time if i'm having this same recording this same type of recording i don't need to uh, keep setting this if you are not uh, changing this it's going to remain for every new project you work on but for now we can save it to as a preset save preset by going to this and going to save preset then we can save this as a preset for input or recording okay so that next time you can just click here and call it up if you want to set different uh, configuration for your recording each time then if you're having this same set of kind of uh, configuration you can just come here and call it up now that you have routed all your uh, inputs to your uh, buses then you close this bus and when you have added your channel for example you have your uh, lead vocal channel let's add a channel here audio channel now we are adding a mono input channel then we say add so on this mono channel i want to uh, take in my lead vocal so all i need to do is go to the input here <coughs> input writing then i have all my input lead mic lead mic to guitar piano so you can select which one you are recording on this channel and you can add more tracks to that let's add three other tracks to that okay so on the next channel you are recording uh, a guitar or the lead mic too on the next one you are, are recording the guitar and on the next one you are recording the piano you are recording on these four tracks now the first track you have the lead mic the second track you have the lead mic too the third track the guitar and the fourth track is the piano all you need to do is to hum all at once and whenever you press your record you can start recording those four tracks at once okay now because i'm talking to only the lead mic is capturing the lead mic if there is a voice on the lead mic too it will also be capturing it if the guitar is playing and the piano too it will capture that at once so this is how to take a multi-track recording in your studio this is how to take a multi-track recording in your studio using your audio interface or any console that you are using thank you for staying to the end of the lecture i will see you in the next video Thank mm -hmm. you.